Hello, my fabulous fifth graders. Today's lesson is on finding the volume of composite figures. Our I can statement today is I can find the volume of composite figures by relating the operations of multiplication and addition. Last week, we talked about how to find the volume of a right rectangular prism, and we learned the formula volume equals length times width times height. So the length of this figure was 5, and the width was 3, and the height was 4. I could find the volume by multiplying 5 times 3 times 4. I know that 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 times 4 equals 60. So the volume would be 60 millimeters cubed. Another thing I want to point out is that if you know the area of the base, because the area would just be length times width of the base, you can also use the formula base time height. Because base is length times width, it's another formula to find the same way. So the base here is 24 feet squared, and we're going to multiply it by the height of 12. Now I'm going to have to find 24 times 12, 8, 4, 4, 2, That would be 288 cubic feet. But how would we go about finding the volume of this figure? Let's look and see what we can do. To find the volume of a composite figure, we need to separate the composite figure into rectangular prisms. We need to take this larger shape and separate it into two parts that we can find the volume of. So let's find the volume here. I've got 4 times 3 times 6. 12 times 6 equals 72. The volume of this small shape is 72 cubic meters. Now let's take a look here at the volume of this larger shape. Here, I've got 5 times 11 times 5. So, I know 5 times 11 is 55. I'm going to multiply 55 times 5. I get 275. 275 cubic meters. To find the volume of the whole shape, I need to take... 72 cubic meters and add it to 275 cubic meters. 275 plus 72 would give me 7. 347 cubic meters. This would be my final answer, the answer of the volume of this composite shape. Here's another way we might encounter this problem. Here we've been given the volume is 240 feet cubed and we need to find the value of x. What is this measurement here? Well we're going to have to take what we know and work backwards. The first thing I'm going to do is find the volume of this shape. 5 times 5 times 8. 25 times 8 is 200. So we have 240. But this larger shape has a volume of 200. So 240 subtract the 200 that we found here and we have a volume of 40 cubic feet. So now I know this small shape has a volume of 40. So I know I've got 4 times 5 times x equals 40. 
Here, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times something will give me 40. Hmm. Well, that's pretty easy. I know 20 times 2 is 40. So that means x must equal 2. Because 4 times 5 times 2 would be 40. Sometimes we have to do a little bit of extra thinking to figure out all of the measurements that we're looking for. Let's take this first one here as an example. We know that to find the volume of the composite figure, we need to separate the two prisms and find the volume of each. But when I look here, I can only find the length and the height of this top prism. I can't figure out what the volume of this measurement is here. But I can tell by its shape that this measurement must be the same measurement as this. And this is listed as 6 meters. So I can find the volume of the top shape by 3 times 5 times 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 6 is 90. So our top one is 90 cubic meters. Now we need to find 8 times 5 times 6. This would be 40. 40 times 6 is 240. If I take 240 and add 90, 0, 13, I get 330 cubic meters. Let's try another one. Here, I know that this top one has a length of 12, a height of 2, and because this measurement and this measurement must be the same, it has a width of 4. So, 2 times 4 is 8 times 12. Well, hmm, I don't have my 12s memorized. I'm going to have to figure it out. 12 times 8 is 96. So the top piece is 96 cubic centimeters. Let's check out this bottom one here. We've got 3 times 4 times 2. Well, that's 12. 12 times 2 is 24. But you'll notice here that I've got 24 cubic meters he here. 24 cubic centimeters here. So I'm going to have to add 96 plus 24 plus 24 to find the volume of the entire figure. 6 plus 4 plus 4 is 14. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 2 plus 2 is also 14. So I have 144 cubic centimeters. Well, that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Our lesson was on using what we know about volume to find the volume of composite figures. Our I can statement was, I can find the volume of composite figures by relating the operations of multiplication and addition. Go ahead and press pause now if you need more time to write this down on your whisk. This is our summarizing question. I want you to think about how we determine the volume of composite figures and tell me how is volume related to the operation of addition. Tell me how addition is part of how we can find volume.
remember to use complete sentences in your explanation. And finally, one simple problem here for our cue. Macy is decorating this cake. Find the volume of the cake. When you're finished, I'd like you to try and come up with a question of your own that illustrates what you've learned about finding the volume of composite shapes in this video. I look forward to seeing what you come up with tomorrow in class.